your math facilitator Naomi Andrek. Um, this video is on graphing linear equations in slope intercept form or y equals mx plus b form some people like to say. This is when we have um, the y all by itself over on one side of the equation. We have y equals and then some number times x plus some other number. And we'll find that this is the slope and this is the intercept but you don't really have to have that information in order to graph it. Another way to graph it is just by making a chart, um, finding some coordinate pairs, some points that make this equation true, and then graphing those points. Because the graph is a visual rep representation of all the points that make the equation true. Um, we can't list them all out, so we graph them. Um, and so every, every solution will be on the graph, and then every point on the graph will also be a solution. So we can find the graph just from a few, um, just a handful, or even just two solutions to the equation, though. So here we have this chart set up for us, x and y. And since we have y equals um, some expression with x, it's actually going to be easier to pick values for x and then find y from those values. So I can pick whichever values for x I like. Um, a lot of people like to use 1, 2, 3, 4, something like that, or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, either of those is fine. Or negative 1, 0. I mean, there's all sorts of numbers you can use. Just make them easy for you to work with. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste this equation down here. And we're just going to replace the x value um, with these numbers. So we had 2 times x, now we'll have maybe 2 times 1. Um, and then we just work that out. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3. So if x is 1, then y has to be 3. Um, if I put in 2 for x instead of 1, we'd have 2 times 2 plus 1. That's 4 plus 1, so y would have to be 5. Um, if I put in 3 for x right here, I'd have 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, that's 7. Um, if I put in 4 for x, I'd have 2 times 4, that's 8, plus 1 more, that's a 9. And so I've got all these points, 4, 9, 3, 7, 2, 5, 1, 3. All of these are solutions to this equation. So I go over here and I graph those solutions. So 1, 3, that's right 1 and up 3, right there. Um, 2, 5 is going to be right 2 and up 5, right there. Um, 3, 7 is going to be right 3 and up 7, right there. And then 4, 9 is going to be right 4 and up 9. You might be saying, well, why so many points? One reason to do more than just two points is to have kind of a checkpoint. So you really only need to graph through two points, um, but you can make sure that you're working right by having more than two points so it gives um, it's, it's just a good check to be sure that you're sure that you're doing it right so this is the graph of y equals 2x plus 1 it has a y-intercept looks like right here at 0 1 um, and it has a slope of 2 because it's up 2 over 1 from one point to the next so 2 over 1 is just 2 um, let's do another one so the, this, this one, again, in y equals mx plus b form, because the y is, you know, isolated, I can just pick x values. Um, let's see. Some people here might like to pick 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, other people might pick 4, 5, 6. Maybe 4, 5, 6, just to keep positive values, so you don't have to subtract more than you have and deal with negative numbers. If you just feel comfortable with positive values, you can use 4, 5, 6, because 4 minus 4 is 0, and you never have to do any, you know, any work with negative numbers there. So if I let x be 4, see, 4, then I'll have y be 0. If I let x be 5 here, 5 minus 1 is, I mean, 5 minus 4 is 1, so y would be 1. And then if I let x be 6, I'd have 6 minus 4, I'd get 2 for my y value. And I just graph these points over here. So there's 4, 0, um, 5, 1 is right here, and if we want to check it, 6, 2 is right there, so we know we're right. Okay, I hope this helps. Bye.